Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on advanced Python. So in uh, last video, we learned about uh, method resolution order and uh, C3 uh, linearization algorithm. If you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. It's kind of a bit interesting. Um, in this video, we will talk about access modifiers in Python. So we have three type of uh, access modifiers similar to the other languages like uh, Java, R, C++. So they are public, private and protected. And uh, uh, we will see like how they are uh, used in Python and also how they are uh, different compared to other programming languages. Okay. So let us dive in and create some examples and see how it works. Um, so let us create a class person and extend object class and let us define in it. And let us pass uh, here name, age, and gender. Okay. So in general, in Python, all the variables and methods uh, of a class are public. Okay. And we add uh, underscore or double underscore to make it uh, uh, protected or private. Okay. So let us see how we can do it. So let us say we have self dot name is equal to name. And let us say we want to make age protected. Okay. So self dot is, so we simply add one underscore here and we simply say age is equal to age. Okay. And as, as similar to other languages, uh, public, uh, 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 public uh, attributes are accessible to any parts of the program, whereas protected are only accessible to class derived from it or subclasses. And private is only accessible within the class, okay? As the definition is in other languages. So it is the uh, same convention in Python as well, okay? And let us, uh, uh, let us say that we want to uh, make gender uh, as a private attribute, okay? So we can simply say self dot double underscore gender, okay? And that's it. So now, in this uh, person class, we have name, which is public, age, which is protected, and gender, which is private. Okay. So let us uh, create another class, employee, and let us extend person here. And now let us call, let us define init. And uh, let us create constructor with name, age gender and let us say in id okay and let us call super and let us call name page gender and let us say self dot eid is equal to eid now let us create an instance of employee uh, class so let us say e1 is equal to employee and let us say name is Raj Nath Patel and let us say age is 31 and uh, gender is male and ID is 1. Okay. Now, if we try to access name, it will be accessible because it is public. Okay. Print e1 dot name. Okay. Okay, so as the name is public, so it will be accessible anywhere. So we can call it and let us run and see it. So you can say it is printed. Now let us try to access age in a subclass. Okay, so let us say define print age. Okay, so let us print age. The employee is self dot age. Okay. Let us run, let us call that function print e1 dot print age. Okay. So let us run and see it. As you can see, it is able to 
access it. Now let us try to access uh, private member or private uh, attribute of class person. Okay. So let us say here define print gender. Okay. Now let us try to access that print. gender oh let us try to run and see it even dot print gender you see it says there is no attribute uh, employee underscore underscore gender so in this case you can see age is only accessible by subclass whereas uh, gender is not even accessible in um, subclass only we can access here so we can define a function uh, print gender here and we can call it okay print the gender of the Employ a gender of the person is self dot gender. Okay, now we need to remove it from here. Now let us call it. Okay, now let us run and see it. So you see the age of the person is 31, the gender of the person is female or male. Okay. So, also in Python, uh, uh, these uh, these uh, modifiers are these kind of mechanism is uh, uh, only for convention. Okay, so you can access these uh, variables uh, here itself. It won't complain. But just remember, like if a developer has put these uh, uh, indications, like this is protected and this is private. So it is saying like uh, it is saying like uh, don't test them. Okay, it is not like you cannot access them. Uh, I can uh, access them here also. Like I can say print e1 dot age. So it will print the age. Okay. You can see it prints. Also, I can access even uh, um, the private one. So the convention is I will use the class name and then I can simply say gender. You see? Uh, so in Python, it is only for convention. It is not, uh, it is not like it is hard coded. Okay. But when, uh, when a developer put it something like uh, uh, protected and uh, private just simply think of them as a standard and uh, don't uh, um, um, break the rules like follow the uh, trend or follow the constraint like this is protected this is only to be accessible within the class or within subclass and it is private it is only accessible within the class itself don't try to change it or modify it or access it other than that okay so i hope that is clear and this is the same uh, for uh, uh, method names as well so you can simply add un one underscore to make it uh, protected and just a double underscore to make it private okay so i hope it is clear um in the next video we will talk about uh, a bit more advanced topics in uh, multiprocessing and multithreading so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next